I'll be baking burnt bass cheesecake and here are the ingredients. Two cream cheese, eggs, Nestle cream, vanilla, and salt. One cup of sugar. Mix cream cheese and sugar until everything is incorporated. Then, add the egg, but put it one at a time to avoid kitchen accidents. When all the eggs are added, add Nestle cream. Add salt and vanilla and then mix. Add one fourth cup of flour. Now, it's time to put in the cheesecake pan. Ooh. Put in the oven and bake at 220 degrees Celsius. And this is my version of burnt bass cheesecake. Ooh, so yummy! Freshly baked from the oven! Mommy Brats, this is how I bake. First, we prepare the mixer and then we will pour two bags of cement grout into the mixer and we will add water with ice. Why with ice? Because of hot weather, the water supply is also hot when tanks and pipes are exposed to the hot weather. So we need ice to regulate the temperature of our mixture. But first, we need to weigh the bucket of ice and water to get the desired letters of water we need. Since one liter of water is equivalent to one kilogram or weighs one kilogram, so a 6.4 kilogram means 6.4 liters of water. So we now have water and we will mix it up into the mixer and then mix. And now we have our cement grout mix. When it's done, we're gonna open the bottom of our mixer and we're gonna pour the mix onto our wheelbarrow so that we can transfer it near to our molds. And concrete is only acceptable if its temperature is below 32 degrees Celsius. So we have to check the temperature. And it passed. So, so it's below. 32 degrees so we can pour it now to our molds our concrete cube molds so pour it in fill it up and we will add some vibration to fill all the voids and compact our mixture into the molds and now we're done we have baked cube samples and when it gets hardened it will be ready for strength testing Mom baked something to be tasted after, but Dad baked something to be tested after. Who do you think did better? 